Work hard, play hard. That should be the three star model. It's really an honor to be able to help out. New deputy, huh? Honor to have you. Take a seat. We need a moment of your time. Sit down. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Come on, Emma. You know as well as I do how tough this job is. That's exactly my point. When it comes to deciding who earns a ranger's badge, I will not compromise. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Duty has to come before personal feelings. I'm glad you understand that. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Freestar Ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. I'll take your word for it. But that also means it's your responsibility to make sure he keeps his nose clean. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. Never saw it myself, but I know it's a large facility, mostly underground. If the first are occupying it, they'll probably have set up defensive positions throughout the complex.
The facility was on Arcturus, too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight.
initiated. Watch for flaring.
to go for now.
I'm a man of action. I've got no use for lies. So when I tell you that you're being manipulated, you know the truth. You think the Council of Governors really cares about anything but themselves? They're greedy and corrupt. You're a tool in the hands of the unworthy. Just like I followed orders and I led good men and women to their deaths. I'll carry the stain of that dishonor to my grave.
I've got no sympathy for cowards.
monsters.
believe it? You've just took on some of the best mercenaries in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. Not the way it should have. Of course, I can't expect you to understand what we sacrificed, what we lost. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watched brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless, but spineless leaders gave up on us, even when victory was within our grasp. You really want to know? Because you might not like the answer. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant, thinking you fight for a noble cause. But if you still want the truth, <laughs> I'll shatter that illusion for you right now. We'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. I refused to work for a shadow client, so he agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron Hope showed up. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar Space. Sure I did. The money was good, but the payback was the real reward. If I could avenge my men, make some credits, and eventually expose a member of the council, well, <laughs> that, that, my friend, is my definition of justice. You think I've lost? Is that it? I haven't lost. <laughs> you go find Ron Hope and tell him what I've told you. Then you can deal out whatever justice you see fit. You do your job, and I get one last piece of vengeance against the Council. I'm gonna make this easy for you, Deputy. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand, no compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Now my unit's waiting for me, and I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Goodbye, Deputy.
I don't want to hear any complaints. Yes? Ron hopes the best thing that happened. It was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news, whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Those Something more access on line A are gonna be the- Good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the Marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust. You're here with good news. <sighs> Let's have it then. The disgraced war hero who went to prison and you actually believed him? I'm impressed, Deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the Deputy has to say. Cards are on the table. So why not? The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. <laughs> and it failed utterly. Wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything. Turns out, our fertilizer was transforming the soil. Bolstering its mineral content. Tenfold. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads and let the farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. You tricked them into poisoning their own land for your benefit. I have a business to run. I can't afford to spend a credit more than I absolutely have to, Mr. Ko. I never intended for anyone to be hurt. I told Hull to buy the land, not take it by force. Unfortunately, farmers can be stubborn folk. And I couldn't risk any witnesses. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so... so awful to innocent people? To families? Not another word out of you, Birgit! I can take your job. And more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. 
I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owners. Like I said, I give you my word. Besides, the work was just about done. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Well, let's not be too hasty, deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer? But on a much larger scale, yes. Well, I'm afraid there's no avoiding it. The past can't be changed. But the future is very much in your hands, Gary. You put me away, and this company will fall apart. You have destroyed far more lives than I did. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation, this company, or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Freestar Ranger. Are you? Careful. I think he means business. Such a shame to see a promising career cut so tragically short. Take one Grab everything useful. I've uh, got some stuff in my mind when you have the time. tried to have you killed. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries, it was so awful. He never seemed that complicated to me. He always looked out for us, for his employees. I know what I just heard and saw, but he was a friend. No, he was more like a father. And now he's you, you killed him. Nobody should ever want that, especially when it means killing someone 
who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? That's... That would be... Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. There's a lot of smart, hard-working people here. You'll figure it out. I don't know about you, 
But a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. Good to see you back safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Wait a damn minute. You're saying Ron Hope was behind this whole thing? Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Congratulations. You truly deserve it. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Woo! Right. Congratulations, Ranger!
I've uh, got some stuff on my mind when you have the time. Congratulations. The promotion's well earned. Something you need from me? Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. Well, hey there. You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Well, how non-committal of you. See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There is a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? There are unfortunates that have little to no choice in anything, and they have my sympathy. But there are so many people that think it's out of reach when it isn't. I think everyone should at least get out once. And go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There is a mess of ugly out there, but my god, there is grandeur too. That helps you understand how this crazy place fits together. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. Makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. Exactly. Yeah, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. I couldn't ask for better company. Just let me drink in peace.